Courtney Fingar, Editor-in-Chief of FDI Magazine and Head of Content for FDI Intelligence, the Financial Times Greenfield Cross-Border Investment Tracking Unit. It's been a challenging few years for those involved in trying to attract foreign direct investment. Economic uncertainty has led to investor caution and a resultant decline in FDI flows. Last year, FDI reported the second biggest decline in FDI since the global recession. But I have some good news. Green shoots of recovery are now finally being seen. Greenfield FDI appears to be back in bloom. In our recently released report, the FDI Report 2014, we recorded a 10.94% annual growth in Greenfield capital expenditure. It must be said that growth was not even across different regions of the world. However, when combined with UNCTAD's investment figures, which show an 11% increase in FDI, these being headline FDI figures, not just Greenfield FDI, we can see that there is most definitely a market that is coming back to life. Now, which regions performed best? According to our report, Latin America and the Caribbean was the best performing area of the world, with a doubling of FDI last year. The Middle East saw a 44% increase in Greenfield CapEx, and Africa saw an 11% increase. North America and Asia Pacific were a bit flat, with small declines in investment. Europe, meanwhile, saw a 12% decrease in CapEx. FDI in China and the U.S. fell slightly, as it did in most of the major economies. Growth, we saw, was mainly in small and medium-sized emerging and frontier markets, such as Nicaragua and Colombia and Myanmar. One indicator that we can see of a world economic recovery that's taking hold is that FDI in the hotels and tourism sector was up by 36% in 2013, while FDI in building and construction materials was up by nearly 89%. This shows that projects that were put on ice during the recession are being brought back to life and that there's bullish activity around the world with new things being built and new plans being revived. Companies, meanwhile, are betting on economic growth in many parts of the world. Included in our report is a study on investor motives, and this shows that market potential is of top importance in companies' search for new locations. FDI is primarily market-seeking, with nearly half of projects driven by domestic market growth potential and a third by proximity to markets and customers. Now, what do we see for the future? FDI Intelligence is predicting that the recovery in FDI will accelerate in 2014 and continue to grow over the next five years. We expect especially strong growth of FDI into countries like the UK as economic growth takes hold. In general, companies will be betting on the markets where they see future economic growth and strong investment fundamentals. To have a more thorough read of the report, check out www.fdiintelligence.com. Thank you.